brothers and sisters. Eternity is a long time to be wrong. Eternity is a long time to be wrong. We need to make a decision. That's right. Today is the day of salvation. Where do you want to go? Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? It's that simple. There is only one way to heaven. And that way is a narrow path. And that way is Jesus Christ. Jesus says in the Bible that I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. It's an exclusive path. It's a narrow path. To eternal life. Everlasting life with the Father in heaven. The only way you can inherit the kingdom of God is through Jesus Christ. Today is the day you make that decision because tomorrow is not guaranteed. It's appointed unto all men once to die and then the judgment. The moment you die, you'll be judged by God. Your thoughts, your Amen. actions, your Amen. deeds, everything you've done in your life, you'll be judged. And those that live the life rejecting Jesus Christ and sinning will perish and end up in hell. That's my right. brothers and sisters, hell is a real place. It's not a scare tactic. It is real. And there are billions and billions of souls in hell wishing that they didn't reject the gospel of Jesus Christ and the works on the cross of Calvary. Wishing that they had a good chance. It's, there is no second chance once you end up in hell. There's no exit. No one can intercede for you. There's no sermons in hell. There's no tracts in hell. No forgiveness. God will not hear your prayers. Will not hear your cries. Hell is described as a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and weeping of teeth. Where the worms don't die and the fire doesn't quench. It is a place of torment. There's no rest. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't drink in hell. You're there weeping, regretting the day that you rejected Jesus Christ and regretting all your sins. My brothers and sisters, we have ancestors, friends, loved ones, relatives in hell, wishing that they could come back and tell you the horrors of hell. But they can't because no one can come back from the grave. Once you die, that is it. If you die without Christ, you end up straight in hell. Listen and do not harden your hearts to this message. Hell is real. I'm on the Broadway to destruction and you need to come off the It's the Broadway. The Broadway to destruction are those that practice witchcraft, sorcery, smoking, drinking, theft, cursing, alcohol, masturbation, pornography, adultery, idol worshipping, all of these things will lead you to death. Death is described in the Bible as a place of outer darkness, a place of total and complete separation from God. So once you end up in hell, there's no God in hell at all. He's absent there. It's a place of torment, a place of regret, a place of fear. Please avoid this place. And the only way to avoid this place is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ can you from hell. Remember, God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whoever shall believe in him will not perish in hell, but have everlasting life in heaven. If you want to inherit the kingdom of God, it's very simple. Believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross of Calvary, and that he rose again on the third day. And repent. Make Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior and start a relationship with him today. God is a spirit and he requires those that worship him to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Jesus Christ is the only mediator between man and God. So today is a day if you want to be saved, if you want to inherit the kingdom of God, if you want to live for Jesus Christ, we can pray for you right now and you can receive him into your heart and become born again. Those that are born again will see the kingdom of God. You have to be born again to see the kingdom of God. If you want to have the God, you need to be born again, my brothers and sisters. Religion cannot save you. Religion will end, will cause you to end up in hellfire. There is no truth. Jesus made it very clear. I am the way. He didn't say Muhammad is the way. He did not say Allah is the way. He did not say Buddha is the way. He did not say... Zeus is the way, he didn't say Shiva is the way, he didn't say Hare Krishna is the way. I, I alone, Jesus Christ, is the only way to heaven. 
There is no other way. You can't bribe your way to heaven. You can't pay your way to heaven. You can't sneak in. You must have your name written in the book of the Lamb, book of life. That's the only way you can get into heaven. Sisters, it's a simple question. Where do you want to end up in after death? Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Today is a day of salvation. It's a day that we made that decision because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Life is like a vapor. We're here today, tomorrow we're gone. So do not harden your heart to this message. If you want to inherit the kingdom of God, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the day, because tomorrow is not guaranteed, sisters. Partying, there's no parties in hell. That's right. So we need to repent. There's no drinking and smoking in hell. So we have to repent. Turn from our wicked ways. Stop watching the pornography. Stop masturbating. Stop adultery, stop idol worshipping, stop stealing, stop gossiping, stop cursing, stop smoking, stop drinking, stop breaking God's laws, and turn, repent, do a 180, give your life to Christ, because he's the only name under heaven, given among men by which we must be saved, only Jesus Christ can save you, Muhammad cannot save you, Allah cannot save you, Krishna cannot save you, Zeus, Buddha, they cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you from your sins. Only Jesus Christ can save you from hell. So today is the decision. Today is the day we made that decision. Where do we want to go? Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell, brother? Made that decision today. Because like I said, tomorrow is not guaranteed. There is no repentance after the grave, after death. That's it. Once you die, comes the judgment. It's appointed unto all men. Once to die, and then the judgment. So judgment begins the moment you die. So while you have air in your lungs, make that decision to give your life to Christ. If you want to give your life to Christ, come forward and we'll pray for you. You'll receive the Holy Spirit, you'll be born again, and you'll be able to worship God in spirit and in truth. That's what he requires, not religion. He requires a relationship. It's not a religion. It is a relationship between you and God. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, as well as you to reconcile to God and have a personal relationship with him. Those that know him will inherit the kingdom of God. So today is a day, do not harden your hearts to this message. Give your life to Christ. Like I said, tomorrow is not guaranteed, my brothers and sisters. Today is a day. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.